Welcome to my presentation about Deep Drone Acrobatics. I'm Ilya Kaufmann and this project is joint work with Antonio Locvercio, René Ranskel, Matthias Müller, Vladimir Koltun and David Skaramuzza. Acrobatic flight with quadrotors is extremely challenging. It requires high thrust and extreme angular accelerations that push the platform to its physical limits. In this work, we show for the first time that the vision-based autonomous quadrotor that only has access to onboard sensing and computation is capable of flying acrobatic maneuvers with accelerations of up to 3G. Despite the perception and control challenges raised by such accelerations, our drones can fly all maneuvers in a robust and reliable fashion. The acrobatic maneuvers that you've seen before were performed by a learned sensory motor policy. In contrast to classical approaches that rely on the separation of state estimation and control, our approach is to directly learn an end-to-end -end controller in the form of a neural network. This controller maps from sensory inputs such as images, IMU readings and the reference, directly to control commands in the form of collective thrust and body rates. One particular challenge of such an end-to-end -end approach is that sensory inputs can arrive at different rates. To cope with this, we propose an asynchronous architecture that can process inputs arriving at different frequencies. Concretely, we feed the following features to the neural network. Feature tracks, given by a visual front-end, integrated and deep biased IMU readings, and a reference trajectory. We keep a history of each input stream. At the constant frequency, we take the newest batch of each stream and encode it using temporal convolutions. Concatenating the encodings and feeding them through a standard MLP produces then the control command in the form of collective thrust and body rates. Our controller is trained exclusively in simulation. Simulation is fast, cheap and safe. It does not require any human annotation. It enables collection of large amounts of data in a limited time. But most importantly, it allows you to recover from a crash by simply pressing a reset button. Training is done by imitating a privileged expert operating on privileged information. In our project, this privileged expert takes the form of an optimal controller that has access to perfect information about the platform state which is not available to the sensory motor policy. Training a sensory motor policy purely in simulation and deploying it on a real platform requires to bridge the sim to real gap. In this work, we formally show that the simulation to reality gap in performance is upper bounded by the covariate shift introduced by the simulated and the real observation model. The standard strategy to reduce this gap is to match the observation models or in other words make the simulation as realistic as possible. In this work we make a different approach. Instead of trying to match the observation models we transform them with an abstract function f such that their Wasserstein distance decreases. Finding such function typically requires domain knowledge since it is task and sensor dependent. To give you an example, in our project the abstraction function takes the form of feature tracks. So we transform image streams, here seen on the left, to feature tracks seen on the, on the right, and we show that feature tracks transfer better from simulation to reality. Using these abstractions, the policy generalizes to different indoor and outdoor environments, as well as to different physical drones. Equipped with this learned controller, our drones are more agile than ever before. Indeed, they are able to fly maneuvers which are extremely challenging even for human experts. Thanks a lot for your attention.